So today we're going to start planning our chalk bubble collage. So we're going to create in this project an environment that has a cutout picture of you um, interacting with five to nine different bubbles. We would like you to include a ground or a floor that has perspective. Um, so we're gonna talk about how to draw that today in our plan. So when you start today, I'd like you to first put title on your paper, so chalk, bubble, collage, and today's date. Okay. And then we're going to start, um, when you decide you could put your paper vertical or you could turn your paper and have it horizontal. It might depend on how you're interacting with the bubbles. Um, and then the first step that we're going to do is we are going to draw where our ground touches our sky or our horizon line. Okay. Um, and this is actually where like the wall meets the floor. We might have a horizon line. I'm gonna put another line up here um, or a vanishing point. So like for where all our floor tiles are going to go back to. Okay, so here's the ground touching the wall and then this is where the lines of the floor will stop at that point. That's called our vanishing point. Along the bottom of my paper, I'm going to um, make some measurements for my tiles. I'm gonna make each of my tile an inch that's going to make this perspective drawing a little bit easier, okay? And then I'm going to start by taking and connecting each of these points that I just drew back to my vanishing point. And I'm going to draw most of these lines light in case I need to erase. Now I do need to continue um, more lines out so that the tiles would continue out here. So I kind of just have to, um, I need one more that goes from the corner. And then I kind of need to continue them this way. And so I just have to kind of eyeball that or Guess at where that's going to be. One looks a little bit too far, so I could erase it. Like this distance is too much. And then I'm actually going to kind of turn my page around so that I can see better since I'm right-handed and I want my ruler with my left hand. I could try to make this distance the same as this distance from my ruler. That would be a good gauge. So there I have my lines and those are going to be the lines of the tile floors that are going back to us. Um, I can eventually erase all of these that are up here in my wall space. Okay. The next step is I'm going to have to draw horizontal lines and these are going to be for kind of the back side of my tile and as I draw these um, they should actually get smaller or the distance of the tile should appear smaller as I move closer to where the wall and the floor meet. Okay, so I'm going to actually turn my learning log this way so I don't have to hold my ruler so awkwardly. Okay, so that tile is that much. They should get smaller, increasingly smaller as I go back. 
So you can see that this next space is smaller than that space. And they're, they're getting pretty small back here. So I actually think I'm gonna change where my ground, my wall is down here a little bit farther, okay? So now, once I have these on there, I could start to shade um, my checkerboard pattern. And then I will be able to see my floor better. So a checkerboard pattern is every other. I would take my time and color everything much more neat. And let's say I want to stop my wall right here. Okay. So there I have the start of my floor. I would finish shading my tiles. Okay, and then I would also want to think about where my person is going to go and where my bubbles are going to go. So in my Example, I have a person. This is the person holding the bubble or me holding the bubble. And then I have a big bubble right here. So that's one, two, three, or five and remember you can have up to nine so here i have my plan laid out shows me interacting with the bubble shows a floor in perspective okay you could also do a floor that looked like a wood floor that would have lines going back so if i wanted to do a wood floor a wood floor is similar it wouldn't have all of the lines for the checkerboard but it would have lines to show where the planks were so maybe this plank is ending here and when you install a floor, a wood floor, the planks do not all end in the same spot. They have a staggered end to them.